Really quick, just want to throw in that Valentine's Day is coming up, and if you're looking for a gift for that special someone, we are offering a coupon code for 10% off all of our gift certificates. I'm going to link that below so you can check it out, and I'm also going to have the promo code on the screen and down below for you. 10% off all gift certificates is a great gift, and you can check it out and see which one fits you best. Hello, welcome back to Balm Feed, another Technique Tuesday. Today, we're gonna to be doing how to count the East Coast Swing with music. So we're gonna go over some basic timing using our basic step in the East Coast Swing, and then we'll count it with the music together, okay? So let's do the basic real quick. I'm gonna do it from the follower's perspective. So we go one and two, three and four, five, six. If we were to continue, we could continue with a side with a seven and eight, or we could start it over on the one. So this often can be very confusing for people who understand music. Typically we count in fours or eights, but since this swing takes up six beats in total, it does get a little interesting when we start to continue with just the basic, for example. So I'm gonna do it both ways, okay? Depending on what you prefer. So I'm gonna start it with just counting the six count over and over. So we go one and two, three and four, five, six, one and two, three and four, five, six. So you can see everything is consistent. However, the number, if we count like that, might not always line up perfectly with the beat measures of the music if you are familiar with counting music or just understand music in general. So if that throws you off, you can try counting to eight, which will change when you're, it won't match exactly every single time, which you'll see right now. Let's try a few starting with that. We go one and two, three and four, five, six, seven and eight, one and two, three, four, five and six, seven and eight, one, two, etc. okay? So basically, you can count either way. One of them is more of the sequence and the rhythm, and then the other one is the true beats with the actual music. I'm gonna put on some music and we're gonna try both of them. That way we can clap it out first and then we can dance it together, okay? But most importantly, the rhythm stays the same, so it's always gonna be one and two, three and four, five, six, seven and eight, one and two, three, four. If that's confusing for you, just count over in sixes and just keep the rhythm and you'll be good to go. But I'll do both today. Okay, using a bit of a slower song, I'm gonna clap it out first. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight, one and two, three and four, five, six, one and two, three and four, five, six, one and two, three and four, five, six, okay? Now we're gonna try dancing it together. I'll count first with just the sixes. Five, six, join me. One and two, three and four, five, six. One and two, three and four, five, six. One more time, three and four, five, six. Okay, now I'm gonna try counting it in the eight, and you can join me there too. Five, six, ready, and one and two, three and four, five, six, seven and eight, one and two, three, four, five and six, seven and eight, one, two, three and four, five and six, seven, eight. Okay, so you can see regardless of how I was actually counting with the numbers, it's still the same rhythm to the music. So whatever is easiest for you, I recommend counting it that way. Sometimes the sequence is easier, especially if you're a beginner, or maybe if you're not as familiar with how music is structured in general. That being said, we do have a website, bonefee.com, where we teach the East Coast Swing. We teach individual patterns, combinations, styling, technique, etc. So please go check it out and see if it's for you. We also have many other dance styles. That being said, please subscribe, give it a thumbs up so we know, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.